Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you this easy gold farm tutorial that produces 650 gold per hour. This farm is a Java edition farm, so building this on bedrock will not work. Also this farm is a shulker craft design and all details will be in the description. But without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. These are the resources you are going to need. The first thing you want to do is try and get up to the top of the nether. To do this, you'll need to look up and try and find a targeted block of 127. As you can see right here, that this block is targeted 127. Now you want to place your ladders all the way up to the bedrock, just like this. Then come up in the corner and face there and place an ender pearl, just like this. And now you're on top of the nether. When you're on top of the nether, you want to make sure that you're in a nether waste biome. As you can see here in the F3 menu, I'm in a nether waste biome. So we're going to build the farm right here. Now you want to pillar up 64 blocks. If you have scaffold lying around, you're more than welcome to use that instead. After you've done that, you want to go ahead and place ladders all the way down the dirt pillar. You now want to go ahead and make a 3x4 glass platform. Now you want to grab your chests and hoppers. Place 6 chests just in the direction like I am right now. Then place hoppers behind the chests. Just like this. Then on top of those hoppers place another 6 chests. Then come behind those chests and place 9 hoppers just like this. This is what your farm should look like so far. Now grab your carpet and place carpet on top of all the hoppers. Then make a one high glass wall around the hoppers. Now you want to build these glass walls 23 high or until your Y level is 217. Now you want to place two temporary blocks just like this, followed up by a building block right in the middle. Now come up three temporary blocks just like this, place another building block, and come up another three blocks, place another building block, another three blocks, and another building block, then just place two blocks on the top. This is what your block should look like. Now you want to place trap doors on all four sides all the way up. Now you want to start removing your dirt blocks and placing turtle legs on top of the building blocks. Just like this. Now we want to start making our magma platforms. A quick tip you can use to stop taking damage on magma is to have Frostwalker 2 boots. This will stop you taking any damage on magma blocks. Now place magma blocks all around the glass perimeter just like this. Now you want to come out a further 11 blocks on all four sides. Do that to all four sides and then fill it in. We now want to make a further three platforms, giving us a total of four platforms. So come up three blocks high and place another magma block and then repeat the same layer and then do the same process for the rest. Now that your platforms are done, you want to build up two blocks, place a piece of glass, and then place glass all here, and then you want to come out all four ways like a cross. Now you want to come out two blocks, place two dirt just like this, come two blocks out this way, place two dirt just like that, and then place a the glass in the middle. Then you just want to place glass just like this. Repeat that process until you get to the corner.
Now you want to repeat that process for the remainder three sides. The reason you're doing this is to stop ghasts from spawning. Now, the only thing left to do is to build our AFK platform. Start by building up 22 blocks with dirt. Then place a bit of glass on top of the dirt. You will notice that this is the max for build limit. So your AFK platform should be on Y level 256, as you can see right here. Then you want to build out a three x three platform. Just like this. You can then remove your dirt platform. Now that your gold farm is complete, we want to do an AFK test. But before we do, we just want to place a piece of carpet on top of the dirt to stop piglins from spawning. Now let's AFK the farm for one hour and see what we get. So after one hour's worth of AFKing, this is what we got. Now let's convert everything to ingots and get a total of what we've received. So now that we've tallied everything up, we have a total of 5,383 zombie flesh and 686 gold, which totals up to 76 gold blocks. Now, this farm is expandable, but you'll have to make sure that you expand down as your Y level is already at 256 with your AFK platform. All you have to do to expand is repeat the same process as I did with the first four platforms. However, as you go down, you'll continually have to lower your fall chamber to keep it at 23 blocks. If you don't do this, the piglins will survive and slow the rates. With four layers, you will get 76 gold blocks an hour. With five layers, you will get 90 blocks of gold an hour. And with six layers, you will get a total of 103 gold blocks per hour. And each layer contains a total of 720 magma blocks. This farm here is really easy and very efficient for the amount of resources you need to build it. I really hope you choose to use this design as it won't let you down. Your gold farm is now complete and ready to go. Enjoy the 650 gold per hour. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.